Hi everyone, I'm just going to tell you about a little incident that I uh, suffered recently. So uh, I was playing on my taxi uh, I started to smell a, a familiar smell in the pinball world which is like a burning plastic and paper smell. Now it's fairly common because what happens is you get drive transistors will short on in a game it causes a coil to lock up and it starts to melt and you get this, let's say, plastic and paper smell from the label and from the uh, actual plastic bobbin. Um, so I could smell that, so I thought, okay, it's, it's, there's a coil shorted on somewhere. So I had all the machines on, so I basically went over, flipped off the breakers, and then I wandered around the cabin to see if I could see any uh, smoke on the play fields. Normally it'll be something like a shoe sling coil, and you've got a lot of smoke on the glass. Uh, but I could see smoke coming out of the top of Gorgar, as you'll see in the video clips in a minute. Um, so I thought, okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, I mean, on the on the Bally games and the uh, Sterns like this, the uh, Cheetah and the uh, the uh, Galaxy over there, uh, you can get the SCR lamp transistors. They can short on, and they do kick out a bit of smoke out of the top of the back boxes. This was quite a bit, so uh, I grabbed my camera. And I thought, oh, what's going on here? Have a look. Took the glass out. And there was basically, you can see the remnants all over the top of the glass. Um, a small fire had occurred in the back box. So you'll, you'll, the, the following video clips are from the time the incident happened, so you'll actually see what I saw. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a reminder, make sure you've got a fire extinguisher in your pinball cabin, because you don't know what could happen. Well, this has ruined my pinball night. There's a... Uh, smoke coming out of the top of my Gorgar. What on earth? What has happened? What the fuck? What is going on in here? There's burnt paper. Ah! Okay, there's actually been a fire in here. <laughs> That's not good. Oh well, that could have been worse. What has happened? Is that... That looks like the source there. Is that short? Between the GI? Well, I have no idea why that's there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well that could have been a lot worse. It seems to be just lots of burnt paper. It literally set the paper on fire. Down due to a GI shorts. Why does the fuse not blow on these? Oh yeah, old games like this tend to have stupid 20 amp fuses in the GI, so... They don't blow out unless you put a nail across them. Anyway, I'd like to see what's going on here. Okay, so yeah, that's that's definitely the source, um, and it's the staples holding the two AC tracks in, and it's that, that's that's factory that that's not been changed. They all look like original staples, um, and it's been hidden. Obviously, the label goes across here, so I wouldn't have ever even seen that. Um, but from the factory, the staples on both sides of the AC, so there's two separate rails. Uh, they both are into the same hole, and uh, they must have been a fraction of a millimetre apart. So. Basically, over time, that space just got hot, and uh, it, today it got to the point where it actually set the label on fire. So that, that is weird. I don't know how it's lasted for so many years with those two staples like that. I'm just inspecting the damage, and it's a little worse than I first thought. The uh, sound cable, I think that's the speaker cable, isn't it? Or the volume one? The speaker one, I think. That's all melted. Um, this lighting connector here, they're all trashed. Oh, got melted plastic on my hands now. Uh, I think it's just the yellow ones. Maybe I need to replace all of those. That's uh, play field lamps. Uh, I don't think there's any others, I hope. I'm going to make sure nothing's dropped into the bottom and damaged anything further. But yeah, this is going to be out of action for a while. It needs a bit of rewiring work, unfortunately. I've just opened up the uh, playfield to make sure nothing's still burning down here. Just a load of ash from the label by the look of it. 
can't see any damage to the wiring loom down here thankfully so it's just the head side I need to deal with <laughs> 